everyone welcome to the thrifty jewel where life is full of second chances i am paula today i made a tray out of a couple of items that i found at a thrift store in one of my recent haul videos i'll link it down below i found this picture with these birds on it and i found another picture that had a nice wooden frame and i had the idea of turning that picture into a tray and it's right here in front of me it is all done but before I show you the finished product, I wanna show you how I made the tray. And so I'm gonna go ahead and roll the footage right now so you can see how this tray was made. So make sure you stay to the end so you can see the finished product. While I'm painting the frame, I am going to spray this with some clear gloss. Since this is gonna be a tray, I just wanna have some protectant on it. And this is Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss. And I am just gonna spray this. I've already shaken this up quite a bit, but you want to make sure that you shake it really good. And it also will help give it a gloss, which I think is pretty. It's sort of like a paper that is glued to this particle board, and so I just want it to be protected. So I'm going to give this a couple of coats of gloss, and then I'm going to start working on the frame. So I'm working on the frame now. I want to take the center piece out. I also... I'm working on pulling the staples out around the edges. And so I'm gonna to continue to do that. Then I am going to clean this frame up and get it painted. going to work perfect for my serving tray. First I'm going to use some Awesome and I am going to just spray it straight on this paper towel and clean this frame. Now this is going to be ready for some paint. I have some chalk paint here. This is Rust-Oleum Linen White chalk paint. It is matte and I am going to Shake this up really good and start painting. I happen to like imperfect things and that is why I chose to leave the holes from the staples and the roughed up areas where the wood broke. I just like that look myself. But you can use wood fillers if you like to fill all the cracks and holes and then sand them down. That works too. I feel like when I'm doing projects, if I try to make it look perfect, then I nitpick for a long time and I'm never satisfied with it. So if I go for the imperfect look, it seems to work out best for me. I'm more satisfied with the way it turns out at the end. So I'm gonna get a coat of paint on this and then I'm gonna let it dry. And then I will put another coat on this and let it dry. And then I will move to the other side. And then I will get two coats of paint onto this entire frame. I don't want it to be a bright white like this. So I have this chalk paint wax and it's by Annie Sloan and it's dark. And I've used this quite a bit, as you can tell on different things. It really tones the color down that you're using. I have a wax brush here. And as you can see right here, it's going on. I'm gonna work this into this frame and then I will show you what it looks like when it is done. This gives the paint an aged look, more of a worn look to it. The picture that I'm using with the pattern doesn't really have any bright white in it. It would have worked, but I want it to have more of a vintage look to it. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna get the tray glued to this frame. I'll be back. This is what it's gonna look like. I don't have it glued on yet. I'm about to do that. I'm gonna be using some E6000 to glue this to this. I really love it. I think that even if I wanted to hang this on the wall, it would be beautiful on the wall. So yeah, it's looking really good. See, as it's turned over, there are these little grooves in here in the frame and this picture happens to fit right inside the grooves. 
it's absolutely perfect. It's like it was made for this frame. I'm gonna go ahead and run some glue inside of here and glue this down and I will be back when I am ready to put the handles on. I'll see you soon. Glue inside of here and I glued the picture down into the frame. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but the picture sticks up a little bit above the frame on the back side. I am putting this really strong black tape on the seam all the way around. I think it will reinforce the tray and help hold it in should the glue fail. But I'm using E6000 and it's permanent and it's a really good glue. But I think that this is going to make a smoother surface on the bottom so that I can move this tray around without having this scratch anything. So adding this tape makes the edge a lot smoother and I just think it's gonna be a great addition to the bottom of this tray. So. I'm gonna do the other two sides of this, and then I have to drill a couple of holes and get my handles on. So here is my tray. I have it right on the kitchen counter, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it here, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave these things on here. I was just playing around with some of the things that I had laying around the house and laid them on here, just so you can get an idea of how this tray would look decorated. These handles I thrifted at a thrift store, and I ended up at the end, you can see a shine on this. I ended up after I got it completely put together, I took it outside and put one more coat of protectant clear gloss on it. And I love how it turned out. It looks so beautiful. And so this is a view from this side without the glare from the windows. And I just love it. Now remember, this was like a dark walnut brown and this is a hard wood. It was really hard to drill the holes through this wood. In fact, I made a couple of chips with my drill just trying to get uh, some holes drilled into this. You saw where I put the tape on the bottom. It makes it really easy to move and I don't have to worry about it scraping anything. I love the bird pattern. I'm really into birds and I just think that it's just beautiful. It's a very sturdy tray. You can pick this up and carry it around. If I wanted to take this outside in the summer, onto the deck with some snacks and some drinks on this, it would hold up. It definitely would hold up. It is very solid and I'm very, very happy with it. So that's it for today. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, and as always, God bless.